Well, I'm coming from behind, but obviously having to settle for a point at home uh, yeah. where, you've had, where you've had some troubles this year. Yeah, I mean, look, the first half, what I told the group is I, I don't think that I got it right on my end. And I think that this is, this is something that is always important to, to take responsibility and accountability for because the way that we set up uh, New York City was the better side in the first half by far. And the second half, we made some adjustments. And um, I think we were a little bit more in our, in our way, in our behavior. And, uh, and I thought we were the better team in the second half. And this, and this match could have been won um, by New York City in the first half, and it could have been won by us in the second half. Um, and in regards to settling for a point at home, clearly we want to have three points when we're at home. But, but I told the group this as well. That's a really important point, believe me. Uh, with only five matches left, every single one of them is, is going to count. And you can see how tight it is. I mean, it got even crazier tonight with a, a couple results that went our way and maybe one or two that didn't go our way. But this is how tight it is right now. And uh, a, a point's going to be important. We can't settle for that for every one of these matches down the stretch. But uh, that's a good team. That's a good team. Did you get an explanation on the dislock goal in the first half? I mean, I got the same explanation everyone got whenever they do this announcement now. So I, I, uh, I'll have to go back and look at it. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. Uh, Trent, I know you mentioned the difference between the two halves. You made the halftime switch. Mm -hmm. um, Christian, the homie, when he was coming back to the bench, wasn't. It was hard to tell whether he was just walking slowly or if he was walking with some trouble. Mm -hmm. um, was that an injury related or was that just tactical? It was tactical. Yeah, I think Christian's going to be okay. I mean, he's played a lot of minutes for us this year, and, and he's he's put in a ton of work. So, it was just completely tactical, and um, you know, he'll, hopefully, he'll be fit. And I, I don't think there's any concern there right now. Yeah. You mentioned in the first half having some trouble. It seemed like, particularly when they got into the defense or their attacking third, your defensive mm -hmm. third, it seemed like once they got there, it was really easy to just dish the ball one touch, two touch. Um, those pockets kind of disappeared in the second half. What what did you change? What did the group change in their mentality to sort of deny that and, and sort of shift the balance of the game? Yeah, I mean, look, I think you, you, you really summarized it well, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, it, really in the first half, we, we were too passive. We were a little bit too low. And we wanted to be that way because we thought we could be aggressive and, and go in transition. But um, they, they were, uh, New York City, give them credit, they were very good on the ball as they are. And um, they were able to move us around, and we weren't able to really be in, in our way uh, in terms of ball wins. In the second half, we, we made a couple adjustments tactically. We stepped up higher up the field. We played more aggressively. And I think the, the last piece you make about the mentality side, regardless of the match plan, I mean, I can always take responsibility when, it, when it's uh, justified, as it was in the first half. Our mentality, though, has to be what it was at the beginning of the second half from the beginning. And we've, we've said that way too often this year. And... Um, this is going to be a challenge to the group uh, this this coming week. Sir, Trent, thanks for taking the time to speak with us. I know that the result didn't go the way you wanted, of course, tonight. However, there's been a lot of widespread recognition for the work you've done with the team. I know Mick Cushing actually came out before tonight's match, and he he lauded you for integrating your style and really creating that effectiveness through the team. And so I wanted to ask, as we head toward the playoffs, what, what is in your mind about this project? How has it come together well? And what still needs to click? Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I appreciate um, th those, those comments, not only from Nick, but from yourself. I, I really appreciate that. I think where we are right now, uh, you know, we set out in the beginning of the season to try to really change things here at this club. If you look at the landscape of, of what the MLS playoffs have been over the last four seasons since 2019, we haven't been in the playoffs. And there's only two teams that have not been in the playoffs out of 29 teams in the entire league through the last four years, and we're one of them. And so we, we knew we had to change a lot of things, uh, and culture is one, environment that, that governs that culture is another thing, and then style of play and our identity is – is uh, the last piece of that. And I think we've made progress. These players have been completely bought in the entire year through a lot of difficult moments. It hasn't always been you know, this forward momentum that, that we're going up the table. But I think where we are right now, even tonight's a good example of that. Down one, no, we need to make some adjustments. And this group's ready to go and respond. Um, I give them a lot of credit, every single one of these players, every single one of these staff members. But 
we still have something we want to achieve in 2024, which is to remove that that uh, title of not being in the playoffs. Um, this is this is the goal, and I think that would be a big step for us. And uh, we, we've got five matches left, and we're still in a, in a good position. Some matches Wednesday will even the table up in terms of games played, but um, you know Philadelphia's on our mind now. And we'll take one more from Jason. Uh, Perrin asked about um, Boris the last time I asked this question. He, the game was very not, you know, not really a good game to judge from. It was very unusual. Tonight was much more of a traditional game. Um, how do you think he did, given a more normal circumstances? Yeah, I, again, I, I have to say I liked his performance before he got sent off against FC Dallas, and I liked his minutes when he played a little bit versus Mazatlan. Um, I liked his minutes tonight. I think there's some some moments. I mean, you got to keep in mind he's really only been with us about two and a half weeks because he went away with Cameroon. So he's still being onboarded into our process. If you would have seen this group whenever we were all two and a half weeks in, um, it doesn't look like it looks right now. So that that's going to take some time for him. But he stepped right in and, and he played a big role tonight. I thought he settled into the game well, and there's more to come from him.